What's going on everybody, Kwaku here, back with another video. Today, I want to show you probably the most controversial app on the Microsoft Store because, well, what is really an app at this point anymore? This is an app called Mica. As you know, it's based on Microsoft's design language for Fluent with Mica uh, elements in it, those glassy kind of acrylic-y textures that I talked about in a previous video. Um, and this app was published by Firecube Studios. You already know who this person is at this point. Um, I wanted to get into it because I, it's a funny app. There's not much to it. It's gonna be very short. Um, a lot of jokes to go with it. It doesn't do anything. I'll just tell you that right now. So if you wanna click away now, you can just click away now. It doesn't really do anything at all. This is the main part of the app. Uh, you can go to settings now just by clicking that when you first open it up. It does have some cool uh, elements to it, I gotta say, like of cool design elements to it. Um, first, a design element that I like is this kind of glow effect right here, right? This glow effect here is really interesting to me because Windows 11 does not have this kind of glow element. And even this micro opacity slider, you might notice something as I slide it. You see that blue thing that kind of like sways back and forth when I click it. You see that when I click it moves. That is pretty cool to look at. Um, and on top of that too, uh, you can change the color of the mica by checking off that. And then you can take the volume, the, the slider and the opacity slider and just kind of pick a color of the mica. Um, you can change all kinds of colors and just your pick exactly with RGB and all that stuff like that. It's pretty in-depth for an app that does nothing. Um, also, you got Aurora, Aurora effects. So you can put an effect in the background. You see that Aurora thing kind of moving in the background there, kind of fading in and out. Um, you can do Bloom, which if you know about Windows 11, you know about that Bloom, this thing in the background, this wallpaper I have, which is the Windows 11 Bloom. But this time it's animated in the background, very kind of abstract, very just, just kind of whimsical looking in this kind of application here. So that's what makes it interesting to me because me as an art student, you know I can just nerd out about dumb things like this. Um, it's just kind of mesmerizing to me. So if I, in fact, uh, if I exit right here and let's make it full screen, you can see this is just Micah right there. This is Micah with Bloom on and you can see it's just blooming. This is obviously just a, a 15 inch laptop, but imagine it being on your 85 inch TV. Who knows, maybe you wanna just have something flowing in the background, who knows, but it just kind of pulls together Microsoft's design elements. I put on Twitter um, a real Marcel Duchamp uh, in terms of ready-mades and in terms of what is really art. And in this case, what is really an app? Does it have to be usable? Does it have to be anything useful or can it just be anything as long as it's programmed and you can launch it and it does even a minor thing? what is even an app so that's mainly the reason why i wanted to cover it because you know duchamp has some interesting things with his fountain which is a urinal whereas uh firecube clearly made an app that is literally an app that does nothing uh it's free it does nothing it's just called mica because it's basically all it does a little laggy and to get back into settings real quick too you double click and then you can get back into settings it does have a light mode without having to restart light kind of hurts my eyes honestly but you can kind of click away and just get that. You can go back into colored mica by checking it off. Pick a color. You can pick my favorite signature color of red-ish, a red-orange look to the mica feel. Um, you can do that. He's got the usual links and stuff to get to uh, various things. He's got the elements that I like in terms of app design, which is let me find a way to easily uh, contact you if anything goes wrong or if I just want to reach out to the developer find a way to do that. He's got the Fluent Design Hub, which you guys should join if you like just design-based videos that I've been doing too. Um, and then let me just show you one last thing, uh, Aurora on uh, with the light mode on as well as Bloom on. So Aurora and Bloom together on light mode, it's kind of trippy. Uh, if I just do this, it's kind of trippy, move the mouse out of the way. You can imagine like, hey, in fact, you know what? Let me go one step further and let me right click the task manager or task bar and let me actually, um, let me let me remove the taskbar altogether and hide the taskbar while using this application. It's kind of laggy right now. A lot of things are happening right now. Uh, there we go. So now that I did all that and moving this aside, that's it. That's the application. That is Mica. It doesn't do anything. It's kind of the Marcel Duchamp fountain of app design, in my opinion, just because it doesn't do anything. But yet it's an app that was published to a store and accepted. 
really shows that Microsoft will literally accept anything to a store. Or maybe they just know that it's a joke, so they accepted it anyway, who knows. But either way, it's an app. It works, but it does nothing. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a little quick one. I'll catch you guys in a real video later on. Take care.